that as a race we're becoming larger? Is it time to just accept that the shape of the human body is changing? Fatima Parker, we've spoken to before, is a size acceptance campaigner. Hello, Fatima. Oh, hello, Jonathan. Good, uh, Happy New Year to you. And you, darling. <laughs> am I right in thinking you are a larger person? I am, yes. What is your statistic? <laughs> I mean, this is becoming an identity. Every time you talk to me, I have to give my statistics. I know, darling. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. Uh, bon, uh, about uh, 17 stone, let's say. All right. Would you, yeah. would you prefer to be nine stone? No. Okay. No, 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 not at all. You see, that's the problem. I didn't, I wasn't born 17 stone. I became 17 stone through, uh, are they going to say, oh, she's trying to find excuses and all that? Yeah. Because we, we fatties are liars as usual. And that's what they give us. You know, that's even the doctors, everyone uh, don't believe us because they say, oh, you're trying to find excuses so you can stuff your face. But they'll say it anyway. Uh, it's the pressure. I mean, just look around now in the, in the uh, press and in the um, uh, the art uh, and media and cinema. All these uh, actresses who are beautiful and they're not fat at all, and still they're being insulted. You're fat, fat, fat. So if somebody at uh, a size four, they're insulted and called fat or size six, what would someone of a size 12 or 14 or even 10 think? They become very um, uh, depressed um, and uh, they get into their... Those, uh, 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 circle, you know, mm. going on the diet and getting off the diet and getting uh, losing weight and putting on uh, more, and trouble, more and more and more and more until you get you get to seventeen and twenty and thirty we, and seventy stone. We are a very judgmental society. We pick over everything. Oh, you shouldn't do this. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. I, I was just ju- judgmental. I said, go to the metro centre. Look at all the uh, uh, look at the people who go into the um, all you can eat buffets. Yes. And you can see all these fat people. You think that's a bit wrong. <laughs> do, I mean, see, and, and that's judgmental. It, I know, but do, it is not. See, Jonathan, if you look deeper, you'll see that maybe these people are don't have a job, or they're poor, or they can't afford that food because, as well, they're fat. When you are fat, you're not an, entitled to to get a, a very good job because you don't look good, and and yeah. you, we have this uh, very bad um, uh, reputation of of being lazy and gluttonous and uh, and sloppy. Well, and, just because you're fat doesn't mean you don't work hard, does it? I know, I know, but but uh, but. but this is uh, the, the uh, weapon they say they're fighting to get the people, the nations of the world healthy is let's kill obesity, let's get people to be slim. Mm. And through doing that, they've created so many problems. They've created eating disorders for people, even children, three and four years old. They've created uh, um, a, a, a love-hate situation with food. Women are scared of, of eating. Uh, they've created all sorts of things. You know, the diseases that they um, say that are caused by obesity. Well, here's the thing. Them, here's, go ahead, please. No, but Fatima, here's the thing. The report predicts a huge increase in heart attacks, strokes and diabetes. They've been predicting that for a long time. But do, so you think it's scaremongering? It is scaremongering and and it's this is the right time of the year you know the new year resolution this is the time for them to get to to make money and get people on the diet uh, bandwagon whatever they call it and so let's let's bring in some stories and scare people what i'm what i'd like to say to this gentleman and to others who are so-called uh, looking after the nation's health is please stop um, push, um, you know, bashing fat mm. people and stop uh, blaming the victims. Where, can I we'll, just? Can ahead, I, uh, sorry, can I just ask? Where are you originally from? Um, I, I, I'm uh, British, but I'm originally fr- from North Africa. Okay, so yes. in, in in North Africa, and, right. and and you've obviously got friends in other countries. Yes. Um, obesity and fa- do they worry about all this or not? Uh, from I come from uh, Algeria, Tunisia. You know the the top the the, the top mm. of the, um, the the African uh, uh, continent, uh, and we have a French culture. And when I was uh, young, they, they, um, we had the influence of uh, Brigitte Bardot. I don't know if you know these uh, uh, actresses in France. Yeah. Uh, Catherine Deneuve. Uh, so we had this idea of the French uh, svelte and silhouette and very thin. So when I was at school, I was probably just, uh, uh, you know, maybe a size uh, nine or, or ten. Or, and I was called fat, fat and fat, because you have to be uh, like 42 kilograms or thirty 
28 kilograms to be beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So, so the, the word obese then, worldwide, is, yes. is banded around. It's fat. It, the word fat, Jonathan, because oh, obesity means it's worse. Obese means you're diseased. Okay. Obese, it means you're a fat person with a disease. But fat is uh, is someone who is ugly, and uh, you know you, it starts from the overweight, and then fat, and then so, obese. So should the boundaries be moved? Uh, I think we should uh, change the paradigm from weight centered to health centered. We do not look at people and measure them to see if they're healthy or not, but we just um, have the, the nations as a whole, fat, thin, young, old, to follow, uh, to have self-esteem and to okay. love and care for their bodies and to have a healthy lifestyle. Oh. We should encourage exercise and eating healthy for everyone, and especially the people who have uh, no, not, no, um, you know, they can't afford to buy uh, these uh, grass-fed uh, beef and all the organic foods, so, so all the other foods that they can afford is probably full of uh, uh, empty calories. Okay, so uh, Fatima here is a size acceptance campaign. Um, How would you feel if the government here brought in an unhealthy food tax? Uh, It's it's not going to work. They've tried. They've been trying. They've tried it in other uh, countries. I mean, the, the report says that Denmark and, and uh, South Korea were the countries that uh, apparently have uh, managed to get their nations healthy. They didn't do it through tax. They did it through encouraging healthy eating and going back to basics to their natural and traditional uh, food and cuisine that is uh, made by uh, mother and grandmother. So live and let live, Fatima Parker. <laughs> And stop bashing fat people because it's bad for the children, you know, for the nation. Thank you so much for coming You're on. welcome, Jonathan. Thank you. Fanny Parker, size acceptance campaigner. Do you agree?